Hello, buddy, and welcome to part four of episode. I just like it because it looks like the full bar. Yeah, I know. I've had to do that every time. I thought you like a four. I could have done a three D. Well, I can put a four on there to come right out of this and go right through. That you could. What? Just like the countdowns. Yeah, yes. Yes. Now Trends. we're gonna we're going to back to last week. We predicted. Uh, 31, 32, and 33. Yes, we did. Not us. But we, we did we, not. We I pulled this off the internet. The, information. the wonderful internet, you know, where all things good and bad go to die. That's right. So, now we're going to... Uh, and go, people go to lie. And go That's to lie, what yes. What the prediction is for WrestleMania 34, the main event. They're predicting Roman Reigns as champion taking on... John Cena. Yes, John oh, I got Cena. it right this time. We... Of course. John Cena's every main event. We know that. That's why he's going to be the main event ready. Hell of a cell. Main event hell of a cell. Exactly. Jeez Louise. Well, they're talking that Roman Reigns will dominate the W title scene from 31 to 34. That's the new John Cena? That's a long time. Yeah, he cannot, yes. He'll be John Cena did the same thing, though. That many he years. Did, he did, he did, he did. He beat JBL, and after that, he beat everybody. Can you believe JBL was the one that started the John Cena craze? Arr, JBL. Yeah. You and also they're that talking that, that at WrestleMania 34 is when we get a Hogan NWO turn for John Cena. He yeah. just can't beat Roman Reigns and he has to turn. Where we did the Austin Rock thing for WrestleMania yes. 17. And that would be different. That would be different if they would actually do it. That puts, what, Cena, what, 15, 16 years in the business? But they could. two champions right. in. Exactly, of course. But they could do it because, like you said, Roman Reigns would be the new franchise player at that point. So that would be the person getting all the merchandise sales. So it would be a safe thing to do. Say, okay, we'll see the can turn in now. Because we don't just depend on him. If they do it right. They don't. I will Vince be alive then. That's the thing. Well, I mean, Cena will still be dead in the ground. They'll still be dependent on him to make money. <laughs> no. It's like Michael Jackson and and uh, Whitney Houston and Elvis. Them people are dead and gone, and they're going to be making money for Buku's years. They're still making money. John Cena will still make Cena money. Cena needs to look at himself and don't want to become this. Exactly. Hogan was great in the day. But Hogan thinks Don't he, overstate Hogan, he can think he can have a match now. No. Don't overstate your We welcome. don't need a Hogan match. Nope. Sorry. He could referee, he could be outside, he could accompany someone to the ring, he could keep doing the ambassador thing, but he does not have to. He wrestle. needs to be an ambassador. That's what he's good at. Well, I mean, they want to make him the GM of Raw or SmackDown, that's they fine too. That. But, because that's a lost art, no GMs anymore. But other than that, Hogan does not need to wrestle. Nope. Sorry. If you go into the well thinking, we're going to put Hogan at WrestleMania, we're going to sell tickets. You've lost your damn minds. Because <laughs> it could stink up the house. Like, yes. I mean, Undertaker gives that man a choke slam and he doesn't even get up. That I mean, hello, that happened and that stunk the house up. Can we go back to Goldberg and Brock and Austin? Thank How you. P.U. a match that was? Can you go back to Hogan versus Sting after a year or two of buildup and then, oh, oh, here's some flame paper. Oh, I burned my own self. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that at? Is that on WCW pay per view? Yes. What you can watch on the network for only nine ninety nine. Don't wrestle with my lines. I will mess up your line. It was a Star K ninety seven with one of the greatest referees of all time, Nick Patrick. No, Tommy Young was the greatest referee of all time. Leave him alone. Go see him at Russell K. <laughs> Tommy Christmas. Young was a great referee, and he's not so young anymore. But okay, he we're, we're pretty getting off this now because of him. Yeah, Nick of Patrick is Hulk Hogan. Brother, I want a match. Brother, I'm gonna buy some tickets. Brother. I don't know what arena I'm in, brother, but I'm going to sell some tickets. And now up next to us, WrestleMania 35, we get Roman Reigns versus... John Cena. Yes. Again, we... As champion. And John we Cena got part two, yeah. Yes. The heel John Cena. You know, because every time John Cena wrestles champion. somebody, he's got to wrestle two pay-per-views in a row now. Yeah. Two WrestleManias in a row. Got to do it. It's like Undertaker versus everybody on the street now. Then that means at 31 he's going to wrestle Bray Wyatt again. You never know. Well, yeah, because make the circle come back around again. I mean, are they doing anything with him now? No. Who, Bray Wyatt? Sir, it's coming. It's a baby. 
Maybe he's just saying, hey, my wife's pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> they could just be ruining that. You know? We're going to find out. We will find out. But John Cena will be a heel champion, taking on Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 35. The heel Cena will give the veteran a new lease on life. But what I don't like is what they're talking about is that Roman Reigns will wear, win the Royal Rumble the, uh, that 34 year. Right, right. And then John Cena would, would uh, uh, John won the, the first year. Right. And then Roman will win the Royal Rumble. So I, They'll be crowding the whole pay per view scene everywhere. Of yeah. Course. Yeah, yeah. Don't like it. What do you would be smart to do is to capitalize on this whole situation by having Reigns chase Cena over a year, similar to what Sting did with Hogan in WCW when the two finally clash again a full year after Cena's initial turn. It will be absolutely huge, according to these people coming up with this jump. No, I don't think so. There need to be twists and turns, of course. You can have another main event star with uh, win the title off of Cena in the interim. A baby face Seth Rollins, perhaps. Why late. not Dean Ambrose? Too late. However, by mania, ma mania, se mania <laughs> season, mania. by mania season, <laughs> Cena will be champion again and running scared from Roman Reigns. This narrative would all be about revenge and the payoff from the original turn. No. Reigns wins the Rumble, chases Cena through February to April, and ends his journey by putting the heel down and becoming the champion of oh, yeah. As a franchise versus franchise, much like The Rock versus Hogan, much like Cena versus The Rock, be a franchise versus franchise act with, just like The Rock versus Cena, a year-long built-up sequel. This is going to draw. It's not going to draw. Exactly my point. I was being sarcastic. I know you're being sarcastic, but it's not going to draw. The people that wrote that Cena, out not being sarcastic. Cena is not going to pass, pass the torch. No. Until he cannot wrestle anymore. That man will be like 90 years old still in that ring. And see, if this is true, oh, if, this, if this is true, Hogan. If this is true, see, he, he can't go away. Oh, that was he Hogan. has to be. Uh -huh. No, it's Johnson as Hogan. Oh, okay. He has, he can't go oh, uh, go down. Why can't he make another title look good? He's supposed to be the best in the world. Make the U.S. belt look good. Make the IC title look good. Thank you. How about the tag team go titles? the tag team, exactly. I mean. Uh, and not that crap with, oh, I'm going to face jo Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania, so we're going to be tag team champions. Like no, 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 no. John Cena. Like, That's a sorry excuse when for they a put, tag When man. they put Austin and Hunter together as a power trio. The power trio. That works. It did, but Triple H. But, you, but the problem, you know what the problem is with it? You don't have big enough names to drop down to bring other people no. up. Here's a tag team. What you Mark Henry Big Show. Oh, Ooh. yeah, that one over like a ton of bricks. Ton of bricks. All right, WrestleMania 36, their prediction is Triple H versus... Who you got? Who you got? CM Punk. Versus John Cena, right? No. Triple threat, baby. No. Three of the biggest Hunter, names. Hunter and Punk. What? Punk goes back on his word. He does what he what he left the company yeah, for. I see. Hypocrisy. When he figures it's six years down the road, people will forget. And he, he quit because he, he didn't want to face Triple H. Why would he come back? No but it's true. Him. Six years down the road, people forget. They might have forgot by now. Why he left. I mean, hey. Personally, I was at the SmackDown tapings the other uh, week in Birmingham, and they were struggling during the when AJ Lee was out out uh -huh. in the ring. They were struggling to start a CM Punk chant. Like these two buffoons behind me started a CM Punk chant, and they went CM Punk. Nobody kept going, and then people all the way across the arena who were smart fans, they knew who Sami Zayn was doing the Ole 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 thing. They did a CM Punk chant, lasted like three seconds, and it was gone. And they were, people are yeah, not worried about it no more. They're not paying attention because they realize, oh, he's being serious. If he didn't come back in Chicago, he ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah. So let's quit chair. But like you said, they should have had at WrestleMania 30. He left the company. Yeah. They say he would come back. This will be Hunter's retirement at closing his career at age 50. Uh, 50. <laughs> so. I mean, Hogan's older than that. He's trying to do another match. So there you yes, go. but Hunter, I think Hunter, I hope our Hunter knows. But I, some of those I don't agree with. Some of them, I mean, but I, I hopefully, we never know what history has in store for us. So. I mean, but they do make a good point here. You would imagine Punk would take stock of the situation as he enters his early 40s, realizing the money is getting more and more tempting with each passing year. Because, you know, the older these guys get, then he realizes, ah, oh, we ain't got that much more time left, so let's give him some good money to come back. Of course. Yeah. Not a big draw. I mean, you're not you're not trying to get Christian back. 
before WrestleMania. <laughs> With the offer of a show no closing with Chris, uh, of course not. Closing WrestleMania main event, CM Punk will surely get back to work. This is the one thing he never achieved, an actual main event. And he probably still would main event. So anyway, I don't I've know. Triple it. H is I've in charge of the John company. Cena. Uh, John Cena. Around, around, yes. Yes. But at the same time, by this time, 36, Triple H could be fully in charge. And if Triple H is in a match, he ain't made him out. We've yes. been in some of these other shows. Guess who's in the main event? Yes. Stuff I'm over with. <laughs> yes. Don't you know it. Because they ain't got a uh, John Cena. Exactly. So. Okay, that's it. For finish up next week on it with the uh, 4, or five, four three, two, one. So. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Blast off. Yes. But now, up next for part 5. You asked for it. We're giving it to you. Carter's Corner. That's right. It'll be above my head here. Yes. It won't, he won't be by himself this time. It'll no. Above our heads. Our heads, exactly. But He'll be his, here. It's his segment. He'll Brand. be here to comment, though. Brand split. That's right. He hates the split. No, I love the brand <laughs> split. And the regular split, too. Anyway, I love it. Hey, we hate them. It's not a dirty 30 no more. Would you chill? chill? We're supposed anyway. to be clean. Clean. And I'm, I got something for you after you get done with your little brand split you. that I got. I talk, we talked about it a I love bit. the brand split. I yes. hate what they're doing now. We're going to be talking about that. So don't forget to come Plus back. Plus a letter I got in the mail. The you know mail. What? The mail. You know Snail what? mail? Yes. I told you. We talked about that. There you go. The mail. Not the mail. email. I got this letter in Not the even a mail. text message. No. No. And this is... A written letter. Didn't even type it out, did they? I bet. No. They wrote it out. They wrote it out. Read it out. Yeah. They read it out. They read it out. They read it out. He's so not used to letters <laughs> that he said read it out. You don't even know how to say it no more. No. Nobody writes. I mean, even our notes are typed. It's insane. Is it still a post office? I don't know. We'll be right back for that for Carter's Corner, and right. we'll talk about the envelope. Uh -huh. So don't forget to watch all the way to the end to find out what the envelope's about. Oh, it's it's it, it, it's something. Very interesting. Oh, Lord. Okay, we'll be right back for part five.